Celebrate the launch of the new chocolate barbecue range. Yes, yes, yes. Only right that the guys at the fellas got to try it as well. Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. Just a reminder that if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to the Fellas Studios because I am on a mission to get this channel to 100K and bag myself and my colleagues a weekend away. Before we address the shots, can we just address the beautiful, lovely, 40 degree plus weather that we have to go through? Shorts are an occasion for any time. You can wear them any time of the year. Look it is, outside, it's sunny. It's, it's, it's 10 degrees, it's not. It's light coming through the office. It's, you know, baking hot. It's not shorts weather. As an Englishman, you've got to appreciate when there's an ounce of sunlight. So when there's an ounce of sunlight, you'll see me in the office wearing shorts. Mm. About that, I've also got a hole in my pocket as well. Yeah, you need new shorts. Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't it. Yeah. See the hole? Yeah. So I kind of just like every time I just put my hand in, it comes out the other side. So we've come into the office today and we've been hit with a bombardment of slander about... Uh, it's ridiculous. It's a lovely day outside and they're taking the mickey out of us wearing shorts. Is it not allowed? It's coming into summertime. Get the shorts out, you know. Classic England. I mean, he's wearing the England top and all. It's like a... Get the England badge in, shorts on, it's summer weather. I just need a bucket hat yeah, now. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like the, a proper UK outfit for the summer. Anyway, we got, we got slander for it. I don't think it's that bad, genuinely. Let's find out what the office think. Shorts, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, have you got a problem with this? If you're wearing shorts in, in England, that is a sin. All right. It is. Well, there's no reason. It's 12 degrees. It's not hot enough for shorts. It's not hot enough for shorts. Each their own, you know? It's different, different temperatures, right? I mean, it's what, 11 degrees? It's over 10 degrees, then it's doable. It's nice, sunny. not it? So I would say, yeah. I mean, you do look really summery. I think if you're wearing, like, maybe a bit more on top, it would be acceptable. <laughs> shorts, acceptable today or no? Mate, mental. Honestly, I almost wore a jacket in today. It's 11 degrees. It's like cold this morning. Who's yeah. wearing shorts? Stanley and Alfred. They're three quarter lengths, maybe. A bit of extra cover there. <laughs> three but quarter lengths? I haven't seen them. Three? <laughs> you don't know what they wear. Shorts, yes or no, today? Nah. I mean, it's sunny, but I don't think it's warm enough, do you know what I mean? So the results are in and it's not looking good, boys. It's a resounding 7-3 against wearing shorts in this weather. Everyone is just jealous that we both have quite nice legs. I think oh, for say. sure. These legs are to die for, man. Honestly. Give us a, give a tour. Give a look at this, man. You can't even see the legs. <laughs> crazy. They go crazy. Danush is my little pug. Oh, she's coming up. That's her. <laughs> look at how queen she is. Diva, not queen. This is, Diva. This is Danush, Donna. Actually, her name is the Donna. And um, this is how she gets fed. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't lose. This is so stupid. Okay, you ready? There you go. Oh, she's not interested. She I'm actually doesn't it. want that. Wait, hang on. She just needs to she needs to work it out that it's food. Are you feeding her on a silver platter? Well, yeah, but she's... <laughs> genuinely feeding her on a silver platter? But yeah, she's kind of pied it. Wait, there you go. I'm just holding a plate for her because she deserves it. I can't believe you've got me up here for this. <laughs> I've got to wash this up now. That's for you. Hold my plate for me later. Yes, absolutely. You've Anything start, for you. You've started something here, Ness. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. What's yes. going on? Oh, Thought just... I'd come pop in and Thank see you. how Loda's going. Uh, we are we are still going, which is great news. Um, we're working on our next special, which is out Saturday. Uh, any hints? It involves no. frogs. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's just a little sound effect for you. Can you do it again? Not really. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Liam could do it. You went, Neil. Is it about time? Nearly, yeah. Put Lewis out of his misery. That's gone crazy. Oh shit. Oh god. No way that's Lewis. No way that's Lewis. It's <laughs> gone crazy. Oh no. Is that a little Red Bull there? It is indeed. I've been meaning yeah. to ask about those. Out yes. of nowhere. Crates have just started appearing in the office. Yes, and now it's going to be a monthly recurrence. Because uh, Loaded, we're working on a little project with Red Bull uh, for the summer. Red Bull then said, oh, do you want some uh, cans for the office for all those tired boys and girls? And well, I said, yes, why not? So now we're getting all of those every month, and I think it's too much.
Growing Pains essentially want to start incorporating guests in some way. I like the idea of it being sort of two guests at a time. As you can see here, we've completely changed the set. These chairs usually on either side, we've now got a, a nice Chesterfield sofa for the guests to sit on. I think moving forward, Ethan and Faith, providing they like having a guest on, um, will sort of do this whole uh, double date kind of vibe. So this is something that we've been toying with for ages. I love the idea of Ethan and Faith picking the brains of another couple. I really like the idea of having, you know, people like Danny in Tennessee, Peter and Abby Crouch, all of those sorts of individuals on the pod. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this episode goes. I'm looking forward to seeing what the, the future of uh, guests on Growing Pains looks like. So you guys excited to have a guest on today? Yes. The first time? Not just a guest, guests. Yes. Yes, this is we Another got... couple. Yeah, wow, couple cast. Who's gonna argue more? Yeah. <laughs> what was the sort of thinking behind that? Freshen things up, you know, it's 2024. Everyone's sick of us. Yeah, people have asked for guests as well. There's so many, so much faith in anything you can take. Yeah, so, and it, I think it's just another cool dynamic mm -hmm. to have couples on as well. Hopefully they arrive. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed they turn <laughs> up. I'm a little bit worried. We might have been stood up. That's all right. I've never been stood up before. Look at me. Have you? Uh, <laughs> Probably. So we were supposed to have a guest party, but something oh, changed. Oh, they've ghosted us. That's We've good. We've been stood up. Yeah, we have been stood up. Is this the first time for you lot? It's the first time I've ever been stood up in my life. So what's the workaround? Just, just there isn't one. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, you just gotta been. just do the pod. Me, no pod planned, but it's yeah. what it is. Yeah. We're gonna go crazy. Yeah, man, we're gonna talk about the deepest, darkest things, man. Here at the Fellas Studios, the number one rule, the golden rule as such, is always keep on your toes. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened today. We have no guests, we have no show document, and they just had to wing it. And they smashed it, to be fair. It was a really good pod in the end. Considering I gave them absolutely zero direction on that podcast, I'm very proud of them. Well done, Ethan and Faith. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you? Not good. I've heard you've had a bit of a mission today. I'm tired, my Uber crashed. He's in a foul mood. This you gotta be a, careful, you gotta this, keep your this, distance from You know what's crazy as well? This is my foul mood. This is better than any mood Proddy's ever been. No, 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 Proddy. <laughs> I'm I'm not, such no, 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 <laughs> Proddy's foul mood is Ooh. the war is not three in the office. Ooh, oh, it has, yeah, to, has, be, has yeah. to be. It's you and Lewis, actually. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis is, as Lewis well, is a, a rarer than mine. Because it's so obvious yeah. as well. You guys get like mad, like, like, grumpy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. It's that little Brit. You little shit. I don't fucking like that. You've lost your mind. Is this funny? I think I've been made to look highly bad here. No, <laughs> nah, it's because you just try and chat shit to me when you know I'm in a bad mood. No, no, but you like pull your face and stuff, you know, like bottom lip. To be fair, Chip, this is the worst mood I've seen you in in a long time. Yeah, but look at me, I'm still like, <laughs> don't, don't put my lights on, pal. Did you have a nice trip? Yeah, it was lovely. Even with the eyebrows? Not as, it could have been lovelier. A lot of people. What was it? What, yeah, what, really, look what at them. They're they they growing back. back. Oh, they're growing back already. A little bit. Yeah, yeah it's the sun. So what did, I were said people? I said that to you. I said it will grow back faster. Yeah, but, but he, no, he didn't say the sun. He said the sweat. Yeah, the sweat <laughs> and the sun. The sweat don't do this, does it? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, but the sun, yeah, because it's like a plant, isn't it? As the boys wrapped up their science lesson, Cook HQ was hit with an experiment of its own: chocolate barbecue flavored chicken. Are you happy? The smell of chicken wafted past me and I just I ran up the stairs as quick as anything. So to celebrate the launch of the new chocolate barbecue range, we decided to put the guys up here with a mix of everything from the menu, but really this is the new one. Uh, it's been on, we took it on national TV last week, and then it's obviously only right that the guys at the fellas got to try as well. It's way too much here. Yeah. Trying to get right. my head around it all. <laughs> what is I can't touch any of this chocolate stuff. Thank God. No, you're not curious a little bit to try it. It's been again. It's been. Good boy. <laughs> that is mad, isn't it? But well, there's a burger here and the chocolate tenders. Ch yeah, chocolate what's the deal with chocolate? chocolate, chocolate? I, I don't know. I don't, yeah, know. I don't think it's going to be nice, but I mean, it's hey, free food, isn't it? Right so there. You've got to take it. So. You're like a walking promo for sides, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not getting paid. I know they you're should. not. They should. Okay. Look at you eating sides while watching sides. Yeah, but I want to feel, um, I want to have a bond, you know, whilst I'm eating it. To be fair, at least Randy's wearing a 165 hoodie, though. Yeah, exactly. See, dual, dual partnership here. Mm hmm. You've got to respect it, man. So, a massive shout out to the guys at Sides for hooking the office up with free lunch. And we can safely say that the Fella Studios approve 
of chocolate barbecue chicken. So with the office now full of chocolatey chicken, cue the sugar rush. So we've had uh, like two or three days of the basketball hoop. No one's made a basket yet. I have. You have the centre who's around the hoop, and that's me. Slamming it in. If anyone can make the father's basket in the office, there's a prize, TBC, but it's available. Elliot, are you going to get the sky for the first time? It's already on, brother. It's already on. Are we allowed to heckle? That's good. Congratulations. Thanks, I did it first time. What kind of coup are you? What kind of coup are you? Right, starting off with the Saving Grace tour. Uh, it went very well, thank God. It was a huge success. 17,000 people, rave reviews, uh, incredible guests, uh, and it went very well. Yeah, Diary Room revamp. This is something that's been on the cards for a while, but I think um, could be a good, wow. fun experiment for us to work with a bit of virtual reality and things like that. So it's worth a conversation there. And I'll be chatting to you. Fun. Um, that sounds expensive. And <laughs> yeah, it does. 165th floor. We are looking for a little bit of teamwork help with promo. If you see anywhere in the world on your travels, the number 165, Please take a picture and send it in, whether it's on a train, a plane, a bus, someone's door number, whether you sit on the street. I just went and got my nails done at lunchtime and the colour I used was 165. We do have some creative team changes. Okay, so I have an update regarding Jack Bailey. Uh, he will be changing how he works with us as a business. He won't be leaving for good. Uh, however, he won't be a permanent employee at the fellas anymore uh, and he won't be here on a daily basis. So yeah, I am stepping back from my full-time role here at the studios, I'm not leaving. I am gonna be still around for projects and helping the guys out with things, developing shows and things like that. Instead, Jack's going to be like coming back from time to time to help with special projects when we need him and his expertise. Uh, so he won't, he, he's not leaving permanently. So no crying, please. Biz, my girl Biz, <laughs> um, she'll be stepping up. Uh, she'll be taking over as a senior creative lead um, and she'll be handling most of what Jack was handling. The team is being left in very capable hands with Chip and Biz. Um, and yeah, we've achieved some amazing things over the last year or so. I have been unfortunate enough to know Cal and Chip for a very long time. Um, we've been mates for a very long time now. Um, but it's amazing to see what they've built here. Um, working with the guys, even in the last sort of like year, has gone from quite a small team to now a very big team. And the shows that we've done and the projects that we've made and the talent that we work with has been amazing. And it's only going to go up from here. Uh, my biggest fear is what's going to happen every time you approach me with this fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to go home? I'm fucking lit here, baby. <laughs> I want to start making cool shit. We're doing the pitch, which is the fellas loaded reveal. This is day one, scene one. It's quite a blessing to be able to work in a crazy studio like this where you just come up with a stupid idea and run with it. What is this? Mug. You put me a mug? Inspiring stuff, man. Does that help move scene two along? No, it does not. <laughs> put 50p in this guy. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm fucking hideous. That's what that told me. <laughs> I'm always like, what am I doing? This is great. I'm going to steal loads of shit from the office. I hope you guys know that.